Okay, thank you. Well, we survived the debate last night, and it took away, of course, uh, took our attention away from the usual news, which is always and still will be for a while about Israel and Hamas. So I brought, I think that we need to keep that in the forefront of our minds and not forget about it. So I'm reading an old poem that I wrote at the start of the war. And it's called Blood Races the Stars. Red pours like a relentless tide from the beast's mouth. Smoke billows out of its nostrils. Blood erases the stars. The dragon rages once more. A landscape of red under the soiled sky, crushed dreams of peace, scenes of horror etched in memory. Yellow stars replaced by blue, still an object of hate, stained with blood. No, not again. Adonai, hear our cries, see our tears. They call out. Allah, hear our cries, see our tears. They also call out. Yet under a flag of white stars, charging across the plains, we cut down the first people, erased a culture. Wakantanka, I hear your great voice in the wind. They cried. Under those same stars, lynchings, burning crosses in the dark night, sweet Jesus, save us, they prayed. Equality, no such thing, when there is the lesser than me, blood will erase the stars again. May it not be so, I ask the eternal presence. Thank you. Yeah, we need to for not forget that our hands are stained too. Um, Gail and I belong to a conversation group, and we, some people call it the word group. We get a prompt each month and we bring it to the group and talk about the word. And the word that we had one time was silence, and I wrote three poems about the experience of silence, three different experiences about silence. The first one's called profound silence. And this is when um, I went to a sensory deprivation tank, and I don't know how many of you folks have been in a sensory deprivation tank, but it's quite an experience. You kind of go into this sort of box, they close the door, there's tons of, of salt water so that you float and you can't tell the difference between your body and the water and the air, you're really all one. And, and it's very relaxing and sometimes very insightful. So this poem is called Profound Silence. Naked, I stepped into the warm salt water and closed the door to the world. Complete blackness, my breath, the only sound. A time, a return to time, before being. Okay. The next experience of silence is, is a little different. It was unexpected. A forest so silent I could hear my pulse. So silent that it even devoured the smallest sound. A place where my words had not a place to be, could fall to the ground like a leaf, unnoticed, unheard, like death. And the last poem on silence was about an experience that I had when I uh, was a staff member in a psychiatric unit in a hospital. It's called The Quiet Room. 
She resisted, fought the inevitable, spitting, pacing, screaming profanities, naked, peeing on the floor. In the quiet room, silence worked the cure. Emerging, war to the bone, broken, her mind stilled at last, surrendering to silence. The quiet room, white, barren, minimalist, a birthing place. She left blooming like a daylily. Peace. Thank you. And my last poem is about my dog, called A Fear So Great. The boom of thunder triggered fear in the big dog. His keening filled the air. Trembling took over his body. We needed to leave him for a while. He fought us at the garden gate, struggling to go to. His fear was so great. Deep within my bones, a memory arose of a time like his when as a child to be left with a similar fate. I thought I might die. My fear was so great. Please, please, don't leave me alone with my brother. My cries filled the air. Trembling took over my body, and so they stayed. Big boy, dog, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and one tiny last poem is about my chipmunk called Scooter. I have a favorite chipmunk. He's kind of tame. He sits at my, sat at my feet while I fed him. Today I buried my little friend, bid him farewell with each scoop of the spade, then laid him to rest in his dirt-filled nest. I miss your cheerful squeak and seed-stuffed cheek that greeted me each day. My tears, my tears, my little lost love. Thank you.